Consider this problem. What is the square root of 1156? Given that you know the answer is an integer or a whole number, how would you find the answer? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do just that. But first, we need to talk about the patterns of perfect squares. So I'm going to write down a few. As I write these down, notice what you see. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is equal to 36, 7 squared is 49, and then 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100. Now, I'm going to continue. 11 squared is 121. Next, we have 144. And then 169. 14 squared is 196. Do you see a pattern emerging at this point? Look at the unit's digits. 16 squared is 256. 17 squared is 289. Next, we have 19 squared, which is 361. And finally, 20 squared is 400. So notice that these two numbers are the same. So anytime you square a number that ends in a, a 1 or a 9, the perfect square will have a 1 as the unit digit. You can see that here as well. Next, we have 4. Anytime you square a number with a 2 or an 8, the perfect square will end in a 4. Next, is 9. Anytime you have two numbers that end, or if you're taking a square of 3 or 7, you're going to get a number that ends with a 9. So understanding this pattern can help us to find the square root of a very large number. Now, anytime we square a number that ends in a 4 or a 6, the perfect square will have a unit value, a unit digits value of 6. So 14 squared and 16 squared, their perfect squares both end up in a 6. And finally, if you square a number containing 5, it will end with a 5. And if you square a number containing a 10, it's going to end with a 0. So those are some things that you want to keep in mind. So. Hopefully you wrote that down, but now let's apply it to this, the square root of 1156. So the first thing you want to do is look at the last digit, the 6. We know that two numbers that will give us a last digit of a 6 is 4 and 6. 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36. So the number has to end in a 4 or a 6. Now look at the the first two numbers, the square root of 11. The square root of 11 is between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. The square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 16 is 4. 11 is between 9 and 16, so the answer has to be between 3 and 4. So we're going to pick the lower of the two, 3. So our final answer is either 34 or 36. The question is which one? 30 squared, 3 squared is 9, so 30 squared is 900. 40 squared, 4 squared is 16, so 40 squared is 1600. Thus, the answer is going to be closer to 900. 1156 is closer to 900 than 1600. So we're going to pick the smaller of the two values, which is 34. This is the answer. 
34 squared is equal to 1156. If you multiply 34 by 34, you'll get 1156. But now let's try another example. What is the square root of 2304? So feel free to pause the video and uh, try this problem. So what numbers will end in a 4? Well, we know that 2 squared is 4 and uh, 8 squared is 64. So the fact that we're ending with a 4 means that the last digit is either a 2 or an 8. Now what about the first digit? So we have the square root of 2304, which is between the square root of 1600 and the square root of 2500. What is the square root of 1600? That's 16 times 100. The square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 100 is 10, so that's 40. Likewise, the square root of 2500 is 50. So the answer is between 40 and 50. Well, 2304 is less than 2500, so it has to be less than 50, which means we can't use a 5. We have to use a 4 as the first digit. So the answer is either 42 or 48. Now, Let's pause for a second and think about something. 2304, this number, is it closer to 1600 or is it closer to 2500? Well, 2304 is closer to 2500. Now the answer, should it be closer to 40 or should it be closer to 50? The final answer should be closer to 50. So which one's closer to 50, 42 or 48? We know that it's 48. And this is the final answer. The square root of 2304 is indeed 48. If you have a calculator, you could type it in to confirm that. So let's try another one. Let's try the square root of 4,489. So what perfect squares end with a 9? We know that 3 squared is 9, and 7 squared is 49. So the first digit has to be a 3 or a 7. Now what about the last digit? Well, let's look at the whole number, 4489. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49. So 4489 is going to be between the square root of 3600 and the square root of 4900. The square root of 3600, we know that the square root of 36 is 6, so the square root of 3600 is 60. The square root of 4900 will be 70. So the answer is between 60 and 70. So we're going to pick the smaller of these two numbers. So the first digit is going to be a 6. Our answer is either 63 or 67. The question is which one is the right answer? Would you say it's 63 or 67? Now 4489, is that closer to 3600 or 4900? Well we can clearly see that 4489 is a lot closer to 4900. So we need to pick the answer that's closer to 70, and that is going to be 67. This is the right answer. Now let's try a harder problem. Let's try taking the square root of a five-digit number. Let's say 12,996. Go ahead and pause the video and work on that. So what perfect squares end with a six? We know that 4 squared is 16, and 6 squared is 36. So the last digit will end either in a 4 or in a 6. Now we know that the square root of 10,000 is 100. The square root of 121,000, I mean 12,100, or 12100 is 110. If you type in 110 squared, you're going to get 12100. 
and 12 squared is 144. So the square root of 14,400 is going to be 120. And you could check that. All you got to do is just add a zero. Now, 12,996 is between these two numbers. So we're going to pick the smaller of 11 and 12, the smaller of the two numbers. So we're going to go with 11. So the answer is either 114 or 116. Which one is it going to be? Now, 12,996 is closer to 12,100 than it is to 14,400. So it's going to be closer to 110 than 120. And 114 is closer to 110. So 114 is the answer. If you type in 114 squared, you're going to get 12,996. Now let's work on one more example. 24,649. Go ahead and find the square root of that number. So we know 3 squared is 9 and 7 squared is 49. So since the last digit is 9, we know the last digit of our answer will end in a 3 or a 7. Now let's focus on this number, 246. We know that 14, or rather 15 squared, is 225. And 16 squared is 256. So the first two digits will be between 15 and 16, but we're going to pick the lower number. So that's going to be 15. So the answer is either 153 or 157. So that means that the square root of 22,500 is 150 because the square root of 225 is 15. The square root of 25,600 is going to be 160. Now this number, 24,649, is closer to 25,600 than 22,500. So the answer is going to be 157. And let's confirm that. And that is indeed the answer. So now you know how to take the square root of a perfect square, even if it's a, a very large perfect square.